Hello, my name is Eddie Tofbeek. I am Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Ooh, pumpkin chiffon pie. Mmm. And even you nor your credit card did not get too crushed by Black Friday. So welcome to Cyber Monday. I'd like to start by bringing you some foreign exchange charts to look at. The first is Euro against the dollar. We're all still gradually traveling down the tines of the firmly, fairly new, bearish November Andrews pitchfall you can see on the daily chart. We've moved down below the 50% Fibonacci line at 110.28, and we seem to have in view the target X2 in the 109.70 area, which is the outcome from the double top back in October. Top side, keep an eye on the medium moving average, currently 110.70. It has been effective resistance in late November. The next one is cable, aka sterling against the US dollar. A countering and countered market. For example, last week we had a bullish harami, which was countered by a bearish harami, which in turn was countered by a key reversal up. We seem to still have the upside at just over 130 in sight, though we're taking our own sweet time about getting there. Just a word of caution, though, we're still on hold over the idea that the recent moves since early October may be a topping action rather than a bullish halfway hesitation. In fact, over the last few days, we're veering more towards the bullish halfway hesitation idea, though neither is by any means certain. The next chart I'd like to look at is Euro against the Sterling. The super interesting 38.2% Fibonacci line of the big old 2006 to 2008 move at 85.52 seems not to be just anything other than a vision in the rear view mirror as the market seemingly tries to continue to exploit the key reversal down made last week. Just remember, we're still in between the upper and the middle tines of the bearish August to October Andrews Pitchhawk, which has made the running lower in this market for quite a while. The next chart I'd like to look at is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. Moving up to finally test target X1, which is the end of the bullish halfway hesitation formed since late August, and which looked good till late October when the general move higher seemed to lose its way a little and the market started wandering around a bit. Anyway, we're just about done. Now we've got to look for an, any follow through. As above, we have the rapidly descending October 2018 to date downtrend, currently in the 11080 area, and soon to be entering the current market zone. The final chart I'd like to look at is the Aussie dollar against the US dollar. A continuing overall declining market, with any and all bullish reversing patterns that shows up swiftly dealt with. We finish November on the lows, and so far December looks very much like a continuation lower. We're corralled in topside by the combination of the now weaker but still significant broken upper tine of the December 2018 to January 2019 shift pitch hook and its parallel companion, the medium moving average, which is now edging towards the 6800 area. Meanwhile below, well I guess the pipe bottom low at 6700 is as reasonable as anything else. I've mentioned a few times now how the recent action has started to look like a counter to last month's, or let's put it, October's key reversal up. This still stands true today. That about wraps it up. So in the meantime, good trading.